Everyone, welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. Today we're going to review the Armalite AR30A1 chambered and 338 Lapua Magnum. Now many of you have already seen some of this rifle in photos and on my channel. This was the host we used for the suppressor review we just did for, a for AWC silencers for their Thor. Uh, but today we're going to dive into the details on this thing and then go hit some targets really hard. Ah, uh, the almighty 338 Lapua Magnum shown towering over the 6.5 Creedmoor and 5.56. This round was developed in 1980 and is used all over the world. It is capable of penetrating military grade body armor after traveling a thousand yards. It also holds the longest confirmed sniper kill in combat uh, from Craig Harrison of the British Army. So that is pretty awesome. Moving right along, the Armalite AR30A1 comes in a overall length of 48.1 inches, weighs in at 15.4 pounds, has a 26 inch chromoly barrel with a 1 in 10 right hand twist. Now the barrel does come included with a muzzle brake and it is the same muzzle brake that the AWC Thor ships with. So if you happen to pick one of those up later, bada bing, you're going to have yourself an extra muzzle brake. The trigger is a single stage trigger which breaks really nice and it is fully adjustable for weight. It also has a very easy to and intuitive to use magazine release. The mag is drop free, single stack, steel, it's very sturdy. The stock is a adjustable cheek piece for height and length of pull. Uh, we did notice when we were shooting it, it did not move at all. You didn't get any vibration on the recoil. So basically you set it where you want and you forget it. It also features a Picatinny rail along the top, three, six, and nine o'clock positions. At the six o'clock, it's perfect, sturdy mounting position for your Atlas bipod that we all have become accustomed to. It does have included QD mounting holes at the front of the forearm and the rear of the stock, which makes life much easier with the sling, because when this thing's loaded down with a scope, a mount, and a can, it can get a little hefty when getting it into position. It did have a really smooth bolt throw. Now, this is Jonathan's rifle. He's been using it a while, so it has broken in rather nice. It uses a dual locking lug. Uh, I never had it hang up once, and it ejected the spent brass nice and far. This one comes in at a retail price of $3,599 with a lifetime warranty, and it comes with one magazine, detachable sight and accessory rails, and an owner's manual. That's the quick and dirty on the AR30 A1 from Armalite. Now let's get this sucker sighted in and pound some steel on a long way out. I did. <laughs> oh, that would be. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Move, little cow. 600 yards. Ready? Send it. Whew. That's a hit. He tore that thing up. Jonathan's going to be shooting at 600 yards. We're going to shoot three rounds of 5.56, five, which is said to deliver 180 foot pounds of energy with the ammo we're shooting at 600 yards. Then we're going to move up to the 6.5 Creedmoor. On paper, that's saying 1,080 foot pounds of energy at 600 yards. And then the 338 Lapua is going to hit this steel at 2,800 pounds after traveling 600 yards. That's all fine and dandy on paper, but let's see just what it looks like live hitting steel. Let me stack two right here. Good shooting, Tex. All right, uh, we were dealing with a lot of crosswinds. A 55 grain bullet at 600 yards 
being able to hit the same spot twice is pretty impressive. Um, so it, it barely even moved this thing, and it was on the and it was a headshot. So uh, yeah, let's move it right on up to 6.5 Creedmoor. See what we got. Should have repainted it before today, but I'll be able to see on video. I'm in my truck about 50 yards that way, way off the side of the uh, range here. And I could see from where I was sitting, this thing was rocking all over the place. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what, this, what that 338 does at more than double the energy. Uh, let's find out. Damn. That thing was nailing. Oh, yeah. Well, one miss there at the other steel, but looked good. A lot of energy. All right, everybody. Uh, Jonathan is at 875 yards. That little white speck way out there. That's his car, he's just to the right of it. 875 yards away. And at 875 yards, that projectile is hitting that steel at around 2,200 foot-pounds. 2,200 foot-pounds energy, 875. 338, we're not gonna shoot the 65 or the uh, 556. I just wanted to show you that earlier at 600. So I'm gonna go hop in my truck and haul ass out of here. nailed that thing all right everybody well I hope that was a fun video to watch when I set out planning this video I didn't want to film a 338 hitting paper at 100 yards to show you a group we all know it shoots at least a minute it does shoot better than that um, so I decided hey let's do an energy transfer test which I explained earlier and it was pretty cool to see just how little energy a 556 has at 600 yards and then 65 Creedmoor and then finally 338 Lapua at 600 yards was rocking its world. And it didn't shed much energy when we stretched it out to 875. And stretching things out is exactly what you're buying this thing to do. You're not buying this to shoot at 100 yards. You're buying this thing to stretch out at a mile. And when it gets there, you want it to slam some shit when it arrives there. That is why. And at five bucks a shot, you definitely want to make sure it's accurate, which it is. 
Uh, luckily, in the ammo department, Nexus hooked us up with some ammo today. Otherwise, I would have gone broke to film all the footage for this review. So, shout out to Nexus. Those of you watching Facebook Live saw me shoot a first round hit at 875 with that Nexus ammo. It was nerve wracking. We didn't set that shot up. That was a first round fired. We put the math in, the calculator, made the adjustments on the, on the fly, and boom, we nailed it. So, anybody can do it. I'm not a precision long, long range shooter. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I am. Uh, so again, I hope you enjoyed the review. Those of you who want to come test out some stuff, I have an awesome event coming out May 27th, 2017, right here at Aries in Leesburg, Florida. The link is below in the description. Over 20 manufacturers, silencer manufacturers, gun manufacturers, flamethrower manufacturers, they're coming out here to demo their products for you. For a small fee, you get all your ammo paid for, you get to test any gun and suppressor you want, and you're gonna have a chance to win one of everything they make or not one of everything they make, but one product from each company. Uh, that'd be insane. Uh, we're gonna have food out here, uh, big YouTube channels, Instagram channels. You're gonna meet and greet everybody. It's gonna be a hell of a good day. RSVP in the link below. I also have a giveaway for a VIP day on my Facebook page right now. Go check that out. It ends April 7th. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure to subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, Full30 and YouTube. See you next time.